Hey, what you doing? Paying bills. <laughs> Hand me the green glitter, please. Is glitter really necessary? No, it is not necessary, but it's cute and it makes people happy. Like nipples on a guy. <laughs> okay. What's this? It's a little thank you note to the gas company telling them what we've been up to with their gas this month. <laughs> Do you really have to tell them that we have sex in the shower? No hot water, no hot Greg. I see your point, and Greg. Hey, what's this Bayside storage? Oh, that's nothing. I'll pay that. Why? Oh, I got the checkbook, the glitter, the juicy fruit. I just need to know what we're thanking them for. Um, Bayside storage. It's a storage company on the bay. Side. What are we storing? No, it's just some stuff. Greg, hmm? what are the odds I'm just going to let this go? <laughs> See? It's nothing. <laughs> what is all this? Just the stuff that was in my apartment before we got married and I moved into your place. You said you got rid of it. I did. I got rid of it. Here. <laughs> well, why didn't you sell it or give it away? Well, Tarma, I mean, things moved pretty fast between us at the beginning, and I, you know, I didn't think I should do anything... Um... Uh, hasty. You mean in case things didn't work out? How could things not work out? We were so much in love. We're still so much in love. You know, in this fluorescent light, you are so pretty. <laughs> so you've always been sure about us. Yet here we are, two and a half years later, and you've got a storage locker full of your old stuff. I know that's how it looks. <laughs> so all this stuff is just ready and waiting in case the freaky chick turns out to be a big mistake. No! Then why do you still have it? I know. It's a tough question. Why don't you sleep in your old place tonight and think about it? <laughs> And that's why I should pay the bills. <laughs>
How's the couch for sex? I don't know. I, I never had sex on it. You big liar. <laughs> Come here. Mm. <laughs> All right, maybe you weren't lying. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Hey. Hey, Dharma Rat? No, actually, she's at work. <laughs> <laughs> what? This furniture. What about it? What's it doing here? It's mine. It's my old stuff. It's yours? Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, Greg, please don't take this the wrong way, but I, I think it's evil. <laughs> Come on, you're kidding. I'm putting aside for a moment that it's a feng shui nightmare. <laughs> Built your home with the skins of animals stretched across cold, hard steel. It's Italian. Cool. I love these things. Not now, Larry. You know, there's a guy that invented a car that runs on this technology, but the government suppresses it to keep us dependent on fossil fuels. <laughs> Does Dharma know about this? It was her idea. Oh, green goddess on a cracker. <laughs> is she okay? Where is she? Working. Why wouldn't she be okay? Oh, Greg, my daughter is a sensitive spirit, and she's always been so in tune with her environment. I hate to think what this might do to her. She's in danger from furniture? <laughs> I have to see the bedroom. Why? Greg, please, I can't be in here very much okay, longer. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, man. Now, this makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, no. My baby is sleeping here. Abby, this is just furniture. Oh, Greg, this furniture isn't healthy. They've done studies. What did they do, make monkeys sleep on beds like these? Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> We have to get out of here. My throat is starting to close up. Abby, Dharma is fine with this stuff. She went to a lot of trouble getting it in here. Greg, I'll make this simple for you. Do you love your wife? Of course I do. Then pack this stuff up and ship it back to hell. I love what you've done with the place. You sure you don't want to go with me? No, thanks. I really want to meditate. Okay. You're cool with my stuff being here, right? Oh, yeah, I'm totally fine with it. It's just furniture. Right, it's just furniture. My point, exactly. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye-bye, honey. point out, though, at the moment, we are, in fact, in record territory, not at NASDAQ 5000, but above the old. We've got biotechs losing significant ground today among the losers. job, take advantage of the 10 secret keys that have made millions for hundreds since the late 60s. In the time it takes me to say this sentence, you could have earned up to $10,000. Not a get-rich-quick scheme, no money down, you are not at risk, but you will see... <laughs> <laughs> You busy? No. Just trying to decide if I should throw this pen away. <laughs> what brings you here? I got my stuff out of storage. It turns out I had two of these, and I know you always liked it, so. Oh, oh, oh. thanks, Greg. <laughs> uh, did you ever do three? And uh, three comes up on the other side. It's the damnedest thing. <laughs> so, uh, who gets the other one? Oh, uh, I do. Uh, Dharma put all of her stuff in storage and decorated the apartment with my stuff. 
the hell you say? <laughs> the living room furniture, the bedroom set, the blinds, everything. Dharma's comfortable living with all your stuff? Yeah, Dharma's comfortable living anywhere. She's very spiritual. Material things don't affect her. Yeah. I knew a girl like that once. <laughs> then I married your mother. <laughs> Everything in this house is hers. No, except for this room, right? No, nah, none of this crap is mine. <laughs> your mother and uh, her fancy man decorator picked all this out. <laughs> You mean the furniture, right? No, everything. <laughs> even, even the airplanes? What the hell would I want toy airplanes for? <laughs> I wanted one of those little H.O. train sets, but your mother and Mr. Lorenzo said no, two against one. <laughs> so this isn't yours? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I think it's a brass railroad spike. Oh. Oh, I guess that's uh, a little screw you from Lorenzo. <laughs> The, uh, the, the, the bar globe is yours, right? Bar globe? <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm a son of a gun, a bar. <laughs> That's handy. I, I keep a bottle in the desk. <laughs> All these years, I thought this was you. No, no. This is your mother and some gay guy from Argentina. <laughs> this is me. A beer mug? It's my college mug. It's the only thing they didn't get. Ted? Yeah. That's what they called me in college. Ted. Edward, are you in there? Uh, don't tell your mother about the mug. <laughs> in here, dear. Oh. Gregory, hello. Hello, Mother. You know, I was just looking for what you... What on earth is that? Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, uh Greg brought it. <laughs> We're not thinking of keeping it in here, are we? Oh, no, 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 no. He was just, uh, showing me how it worked. Uh, besides, it, uh, clashes with my tiny cannon. <laughs> The maid must have moved that. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, what am I not doing, babe? I'm meditating, I'm skiing in the Alps, I'm baking bread, I'm talking to Jane on your Madonna phone here. Hang on, Jane. Well, I'm really glad you're enjoying this stuff. Stuff? Oh, great. Oh, this is not stuff. This is a way of life. A streamlined, hyper-efficient, uses every part of the buffalo way of life. Hey. Jane, hey, check out this great idea I had. Genius money-making idea number four. Combine yoga instruction with dog training. Call it stretch and fetch. <laughs> what do you think? I don't get it. That's okay, you're not my target audience. <laughs> Wanna fool around? Sure, always. Okay, we don't have a lot of time, so I'll just be, you know, swinging at the first pitch you throw me. <laughs> I never cared for this decor, but it is an improvement. It's all great stuff. Yes, I know. Her stuff's out, his stuff's in. So it would seem. And she's fine with it. Well, it's very nice for Gregory. Guess whose table this is. Should I take out the salad? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Check this out. Three, two, one. Who's got the power? Freeze! Radish, 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 go! What the heck was that? Uh, these are Greg's dishes. Yes, I know. So are these glasses? Give it a rest, Ed. So, Ed, who do you like in the election? Well, I'm a fiscal conservative. No news there. Who do you like? What do you hear? Give me a name. Well, now. Moving on. Kitty, how's the charity game going? Any big events coming up? Well, I have a lunch. Bottom coming. line, me, are we going to cure disease this year? Well, I certainly... A toast to Kitty and her fine work. <laughs> ah, you people wrap this up. I'll get the pasta. <laughs> Gregory, is Dama feeling all right? I think she may have a touch of something. <laughs> all right, pasta's up. Let's talk sauce. Kit Kat, what do you like? Marinara? Pesto? Well, I haven't had pesto. Pesto it is, Ed. Uh, well... Two well, pestos, good choice. <laughs> Sugar pie, honey bunch? Pesto's fine. Wrong, not enough to go around. The answer is marinara. <laughs> <laughs> if 
if you want your salad, you should probably eat it quickly. Don't touch my mug. <laughs> what are you doing sitting here in the dark? I'll ask the questions. What do you think you're doing with my mug? <laughs> For heaven's sakes, Edward, I was putting it away. It's, it's hideous. Yes, and it's mine. Fine, it's yours. Why don't I just put it in a drawer so that it doesn't clash with the room? Catherine? This is my den, and this is my mug, and it's going to stay out here on the desk where I can see it. Well, why don't we just tuck it right behind the lamp? I have a Revolutionary War flintlock, and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> it's Prussian, and it doesn't work. Okay, I'll throw it at you, and I'll put my mug down. <clears throat> oh, oh, touch your silly mug. Good. Oh. And another thing. From now on, I want to be called Ted. Don't push it, Edward. All right. We'll just leave it at don't touch my mug. Abby, 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 Abby forget how I'm feeling. Let me tell you why I call. Genius time-saving idea. Two bean salad. <laughs> no? Oh, come on, I'm spitting diamonds here. <laughs> Uh, let me call you back. Furniture to Goodwill. Oh, yeah, but if my mom asked, we donated it to an underprivileged satanic cult. <laughs> Pete? Right here. Quick like a bunny, go get my dry cleaning. Come on. If there's any change left over, you can get yourself a beer. <laughs> there won't be. Hey, um, when Pete moved in with you, what did you do with all this stuff? I got rid of it. It confused him. What do you mean? Well, when guys have other bachelor stuff around. It gives them a false sense of self-worth. If you get rid of it, they're completely dependent on you. And Pete's happy like this? You saw him, he thinks he's getting a beer. Ooh, 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 ooh. I gotta go. Come on, let's go. Pete! Try cleaning first. <laughs> You were never coming home. Uh, I just took the dogs for a walk. Oh, well, I'm sorry I missed that. I'll oh. go with you next time. Okay, if you like. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Ask me anything you'd like. Do you miss having your stuff? No, no. You know, it didn't fit in here, and it was silly having it in storage. But still, didn't it make you feel good just knowing all your guy stuff was hey, there? Hey, look at me. You are all the stuff I need. <laughs> Oh, you're too, too sweet. What can I say? I love you. I love you, too. Really? How much? This much? And you don't have to do that. Come, come sit down with me. Okay. What? Nothing. Isn't this nice? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey, hey, tomorrow I was thinking maybe we could go down to the uh, paint your own ceramics place and make a couple of salad bowls like we saw in that magazine. Would you like that? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> I don't know. We were on our way to the paint your own ceramics place. Next thing I know, she makes me pull over at Goodwill. We buy everything back, and here we are. Dharma's amazing. Yes, she is. I had to give up all my old stuff when I got married. But you get so much in return. <laughs> yeah, you do. Anyway, thanks a lot for helping me move this stuff. I owe you one. Oh, no, we're square. Good night. Now he and 
insists on keeping his Notre Dame mug in here, and as you can see, it fights with the motif. Yes, yes. So, let's lose the hunting lodge theme and go with something collegiate. I see it. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm thinking small leather helmets, those old leather helmets, sculling oars over here. The glob will have to go, of course. Uh... You're going to take my glob? <laughs> it's your own fault, Ted. Now, about the curtains, I am thinking whimsical. I'm smiling already. <laughs> A print maybe with little uh, footballs and megaphones, real boola boola. Yes, boola, definitely boola. <laughs> Where are you going? To the garage and see if I can get this thing to work. <laughs> things didn't work out? How could things not work out? We were so much in love. We're still so much in love. You know, in this fluorescent light, you are so pretty. <laughs> so you've always been sure about us. Yet here we are, two and a half years later, and you've got a storage locker full of your old stuff. I know that's how it looks. <laughs> so all this stuff is just ready and waiting in case the freaky chick turns out to be a big mistake. No! Then why do you still have it? I know. It's a tough question. Why don't you sleep in your old place tonight and think about it? <laughs> and that's why I should pay the bills. <laughs> told me not to. So you come here and you sleep in your office? I have a toothbrush here. Exactly how many backup apartments do you have? <laughs> Listen to me, mister. I was wrong about all that stuff in your storage locker, and if you had bothered to come home last night, I would have apologized your brains out. And by the way, I just came from your folks, and they're pretty ticked at you for me waking them up. You forgive me? I forgave you the minute I walked into our apartment and realized it's filled with all my stuff. You gave up everything when we got married and I gave up nothing. So, so you do forgive me? I did. But this whole not coming home, sleeping at your office because you think I'm mad at you and won't forgive you, this is a whole nother jungle of worms, buddy. Um, I'm confused. Do you want me to come home? Huh. Can't even believe you'd ask that. <laughs> So it was all a dream. Surprise! Every minute. What's my old stuff doing here? Your stuff is our stuff now. Unbelievable! How did you do this? Easy! I called everybody that I'd ever help move, but they were sick, so I hired a couple of beefy transvestites down on Polk Street. Are you sure? Because, you know, my stuff's not really your kind of stuff. It's just stuff. I'll get used to it. Plus, you have all kinds of cool gadgets, like the ski machine here. All of the hard work of cross-country skiing without that pesky scenery. <laughs> oh, and this thing. Oh, God, this is great. I love this thing. What is it? It's an electric shoe polisher. <gasps> Too bad those little electric shoes never caught on. <laughs> kind of geeky. No, no, it's not. I love it. I never had any of this stuff. I want to try it all out. Hey, how's the couch for sex? I don't know. I, I never had sex on it. You big liar. Come here. <laughs> all right, maybe you weren't lying. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Hey. Hey, Dharma Rock? No, actually, she's at work. <laughs> <laughs> what? This furniture. What about it? What 
What's it doing here? It's mine. It's my old stuff. It's yours? Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, Greg, please don't take this the wrong way, but I, I think it's evil. <laughs> Come on, you're kidding. If I'm putting aside for a moment that it's a feng shui nightmare. <laughs> you filled your home with the skins of animals stretched across cold, hard steel. It's Italian. <laughs> cool. I love these things. Not now, Larry. You know, there's a guy that invented a car that runs on this technology, but the government suppresses it to keep us dependent on fossil fuels. Does Dharma know about this? It was her idea. Oh, green goddess on a cracker. <laughs> Hey, what you doing? Paying bills. Hand me the green glitter, please. Is glitter really necessary? No, it is not necessary, but it's cute and it makes people happy. Like nipples on a guy. Okay. What's this? It's a little thank you note to the gas company telling them what we've been up to with their gas this month. Do you really have to tell them that we have sex in the shower? No hot water, no hot Greg. I see your point, and Greg. Hey, what's this Bayside storage? Oh, that's nothing. I'll pay that. Oh, I got the checkbook, the glitter, the juicy food. I just need to know what we're thanking them for. Um, Bayside storage, it's a storage company on the bay. Side. What are we storing? No, it's just some stuff. Greg, hmm? what are the odds I'm just going to let this go? <laughs> See? It's nothing. What is all this? Just the stuff that was in my apartment before we got married and I moved into your place. You said you got rid of it. I did. I got rid of it. Here. <laughs> well, why didn't you sell it or give it away? Well, Tarma, I mean, things moved pretty fast between us at the beginning, and I, you know, I didn't think I should do anything. Is she okay? Where is she? Working. Why wouldn't she be okay? Oh, Greg, my daughter is a sensitive spirit, and she's always been so in tune with her environment. I hate to think what this might do to her. She's in danger from furniture? <laughs> I have to see the bedroom. Why? Greg, please, I can't be in here very much okay, longer. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Now, this makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My baby is sleeping here. Abby, this is just furniture. Oh, Greg, this furniture isn't healthy. They've done studies. <laughs> what did they do? Make monkeys sleep on beds like these? Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> Larry, we have to get out of here. My throat is starting to close up. Abby, Dharma is fine with this stuff. She went to a lot of trouble getting it in here. Greg, I'll make this simple for you. Do you love your wife? Of course I do. Then pack this stuff up and ship it back to hell. <laughs> I love what you've done with the place. You sure you don't want to go with me? No, thanks. I really want to meditate. Okay. You're, you're cool with my stuff being here, right? Oh, yeah. I'm totally fine with it. It's just furniture. Right. It's just furniture. My point. Exactly. <laughs> okay. See you later. Bye-bye, honey. <laughs>